But if you're eating something right now, you may want to stop before we show you this next story because it is enough to make you lose your lunch or probably now a late night snack. News Force Adam Harding takes us to a Whole Foods in the heart of Manhattan where a stomach turning site did cause a shopper to leave empty handed with no plans to return. It's the six second TikTok video quickly racking up the views. Last I checked, there was 2.1 million. Take a closer look. <laughs> yup, that's a mouse chewing on a pricey slab of veal. I'm just there trying to get somebody's attention so they could see. So that's when I pulled out my phone and I'm like, let me record this because this is one in a million. There's a mouse just relaxing there, eating lunch like nobody's business. Brittany Ellis says she still can't believe what she saw while out grocery shopping a few days ago with her mom at the Columbus Circle Whole Foods. It made my skin crawl because I, I am a big germaphobe. So I was like, okay, there's no way nobody's going to believe me. My mom that's right next to me that didn't believe me at first, even though I'm showing her there's movements. She had to get close to then be like, oh my God, you're right. <laughs> right here. I didn't see you. Shoppers were less than pleased to hear about the ratatouille wannabe, even if mice are not all that uncommon here in New York. That shouldn't be there. That shouldn't be there. Yeah. 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 Mice and rats, they seem to be part of New York, unfortunately. Especially so close to a train station, you know? Everything's underground. I mean, I know it's New York, but it's still not okay. <laughs> The company says it takes this situation very seriously, telling News 4, we immediately removed and disposed of all products in the case, performed a deep cleaning, and brought in a third-party service for a thorough inspection. The store diligently followed our detailed protocol in response and continues to work closely with our food safety team. I just want everybody to be aware of the situation, and something has to be done. I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York.